What's good, y'all? Hope you're doing well. Um, today we got to shave with some new gear, some not so new gear. I got my Muramasa back, uh, Tatara. So I'm gonna play around with this. We got a Gillette Silver Blue loaded. Um, I have a few shaves on it. I told you guys I'd follow up on it and I never really did because I don't know, I just got a, a couple razors at the same time and uh, I lent it to a friend and I forgot about it. And then I did like my 30 day straight razor thing. So here we are like two months later. <laughs> For the soap, we're uh, using a brand new vegan base uh, or at least updated from Zingari Man. And uh, I don't think she's named it like a, like a, like she named Sago. But yeah, this is her newest vegan base and this is the Gypsy. Um, cool yellow looking label. As you can tell from the label, it's bright. So the three scent notes on there, citrus, cucumber, and pineapple. Really nice scent. It's, uh, if you like citrus, it's really hard not to like. It's, it's nothing like super complex or anything, but that's exactly what I think the artisan was going for. Something like just bright, easy for the summer. Um, it's a perfect time to release this. New brush to the den, Oku. Sorry, there's like a weird reflection. Um, sorry. Uh, Oku brush from uh, the artisan named Paco. Really cool, not really cool guy. Nice to talk to. Um, custom made to my liking. So I wanted like a darker shade of blue, but not too dark. And I asked for like gold engraving, and that's how it came out. And this is a 28 millimeter. Uh, I believe the knot is tied in China, but he does spend uh, several months testing the knots and seeing what he likes and uh, seeing if he, you know, opts to go for it. So uh, let me get into the load here before I take too long. Uh, we're at two minutes. We'll go to, so this is a very jelly knot. Um, I have used it uh, two or three times to kind of get a feel for it. Um, it's uh, kind of reminds me of B10 actually, a little uh, about less dense. So the loft I had set at 52 millimeters, which I think is what he typically sets it at anyways, by chance I found that, found that out after the fact. But um, yeah, so he sets that at 52. Um, so it does splay quite a bit. Um, it doesn't have a crazy amount of backbone, but it's definitely not floppy. Um, it's, it's a nice knot. Let's see, we're at 45. And my test lather with this vegan base, I was very impressed. I'm just loading a little bit heavier. In 30 seconds, I got like an insane lather, but because this is a really jelly knot, I wasn't uh, sure how much I would need. So we'll see, hopefully it doesn't take too long to lather. Yeah, hope you guys have been well. Um, just gonna enjoy today's shave. Let's get into the lather here. So uh, upon, upon ordering uh, the hydration potion, newly released from Zingari Man, which I'm very impressed with, provides a great post shave, which is not really intended to be a post shave product but it could be used uh, to supplement as one, I guess. I don't think there's a specific uh, designation for it other than, you know, treating your skin. Yeah, this is a plenty, plenty of woe here. Yeah, um, let me talk about the scent and then I guess I could talk about the knot. I'm just painting the water here. So yeah, uh, citrus, pineapple, and cucumber. I ordered the bath soap with the hydration potion and I liked it so much, I immediately ordered the soap set. And um, I was asking a few friends about it who got it. And some said they love it. Some guys said it's a little bit too sweet for them. So um, what I noticed is I don't really get as much um, cucumber in here than I do get from the bath soap. And same goes for the splash. To me, it's predominantly pineapple. It's pretty much dominated by pineapple with kind of like a orangey citrus undertone. So it's just straight up citrus. 
So citrus lovers, if you like citrus, this is probably the soap for you. In my test lather, I found this soap extremely dense, creamier um, than a lot of the vegan bases I've tried. Yeah, just awesome all around base. I, uh, I wanna test it more before I give my final thoughts on it. Um, but immediately I'm impressed with it. Um, it definitely lathers easier than the Sago base, which I was impressed by. More to come on the post shave. Yeah, so I don't really get any cucumber. I kind of wish there was a little bit more in the um, shaving soap, but no worries, it's still a nice scent if you like citrus, which I do like. I don't lean towards citrus over other scents. Um, but I definitely enjoy a nice citrus scent. This thing is lathering very nicely. Yeah, I mean, you would think it's not even, you would think this is a tallow base just from looking at it. It's just well done, Heather. It's very good. Yeah, so as you can see, I didn't really get a close up of the brush, but it's got a nice blue sheen to it. Uku coin. Display is easy enough. It's super gelled, super gelled tips. Um, it's got a tiny bit of scrub in the middle due to its ease of splay. All right, I think we're kind of underhydrated here. So that's taking forever. There we go. Cool. Yeah, pick up orange for sure under that pineapple. Not too bad. Yeah, it seems like we're dialed in. Nice sheen on that lather. It could definitely take more water, but I think it's good enough to shave with. So that's what we'll do. Muramasa, don't even know what setting to go with here. We can start with setting four. Four is my favorite on this region. Oh yeah, it's very smooth. Yeah, this is a very smooth razor, even on setting four. The blade clamping is very good on it. You can see that. Working on a um, little bit over 24 hours of growth. I normally have a ton more growth at that point in time, but um, I had such a close shave yesterday. I used uh, the WR2. So less hair grew back, but we are taking a little bit of hair. Yeah, so in my opinion so far, this thing lathers easier than Sago. And um, I don't know when I did it with it when I lathered it with a synthetic, it was crazy dense. I find that it's not as dense. Um, maybe it was the fact that I used the badger. It didn't pick up soap as well, but it's still super slick. To me, it, the main thing here is it's just it's just super easy to lather. That's the benefit here. Very slick though, just like the Sago though. Gillette Summer Blue is becoming like my super go-to blade, super smooth. Yeah, it's just a really, especially in the more aggressive razors, that's the blade I'm reaching for. Nice first pass, we definitely got some growth left. So let's do that. Just gonna put a little bit of water on the brush here. Paint it on. Work it in.
Yeah, as you can see, you can definitely take that water. This is very ergonomic to hold. It's pretty huge. Um, I don't know if I have anything to compare it to right now. Got my Evo out. This is a 26 mil. I think it's like 59 millimeters tall. Um, yeah, you can't see with the lather, but yeah, it's a good size for sure. Um, but because it's like so ergonomic to hold in the hand, it kind of just rests. It's, uh, it's very usable, very doable. So the Muramasa, four, you get like slightly above average blade feel. Three, there's like very little blade feel, but it still cuts well. So I just went to three. I find that if I play between three, four, three through six, I'm happiest. Well, one and two, you get almost no blade feel. Still cuts enough on two, but it kind of misses the trouble spots for me. A little bit. Yeah, super smooth, man. I can buff no problem. Excellent. I think I probably could have done the pass again with setting forward and feel too menacing at all. Nice. All right, much closer. Got a tiny neck here. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I think at this point, um, I have to use this base more, but I think at this point, there's like, there's like no need for Sago. What's the need for it? Um, I have to see how the post shave compares, but it's plenty dense and the lather is easier than Sago. So, um, and this is not a knock on that base. It's just, it just goes to show how, how good this one is. And um, I don't know, she was able to do it without tallow. So it's like, <laughs> it's like uh, debunking the myths, which I think I've might've already been debunked at this point in time. We'll go to four, see how I feel. Feeling good. 105 grams. It's razor, but it's well balanced. Just have to use a feather light touch. Excellent. That's my trouble spots right there. These edges right here. It's my trouble spot. I don't know if I'll go straight up again. Let's see. Yep, that's fine. It's not the smoothest across the uh, against the grain, but it's fine. It's doable. Some razors I can't even attempt that. Yeah, not as much on the mustache area. That's more sensitive for me, but on the cheeks, I can. Kind of get away with it. <sighs> Tiny bit. What I'm going to do is just squeeze the lather out the knot and then kind of rub it in. Then we just buff that. A little bit of cleanup. Yeah, so three is definitely smoother, but I find that I get more efficiency out of that four and five for sure. It's quite noticeable. Um, you can definitely get DFS easily with three or even two, but I don't know, I'm always chasing. <laughs> cool.
All right, the shave is done. I'm just gonna rinse off real quick and I'll get back with you guys for the post shave. So I'm going to apply the hydration potion because I'm still trying that out. Because she said to try it for a week straight and um, before we kind of judge it. So that's what I'll do. Just a quick little shape up. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can't because it's this side. <laughs> Cool, shape up is done. Yeah, we got a tiny nick, but the pushy feels not bad. Sorry about that, back for the post, got cut off. So yeah, like I said, I'll try this hydration potion, see where we're at. Post shave is pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna judge it when I use the hydration potion, when I stop using this for a couple days. That's when I'll kinda judge it. Absorbs rather quickly, and we do have the matching splash. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, overview of the scent, if you're still watching, um, it kind of reminds me of like a pineapple candy. So it is on the sweeter side. It's not like as sweet as some of the super sweet uh, fruity scents I've tried, but it is on the sweeter side. Um, I might have added too much here. Oh yeah, I get a little bit more cucumber in the splash. Yeah, so... I mean, it just goes to show soap is not always the best carrier for fragrance, as you guys know. So, judge that accordingly. Um, yeah, so you get that cucumber. It's definitely got that punchy pineapple sweetness, like kind of like a pineapple candy. But like I said, some somehow, some way, some might find this too sweet maybe, but I kind of enjoy it. I love pineapple, so that's kind of like my disclosure there. So... That's my thoughts on Zingari Man Gypsy. I'll keep this in rotation in the summer months, summer months for sure. Uh, Muramasa and then my new Oku Bilbao. It's called The Shape. So cool brush. Uh, look forward to adding it to the rotation. All right, guys, that's it for The Shape. Have a good one. Peace.